Hey everyone, I'm Mark. And I'm Morgan. And, and we, we are Grove, Grove Electric. So if you've been keeping track, you will know that we are here in Las Vegas. And now it is time to head back east to Pennsylvania. We have a long drive ahead of us. And to start off, we cannot even go the same route that we came in because there is a winter storm and the road is officially closed. So we will be going even lower south than we uh, did when we started. Luckily, this only needs to happen through Arizona. So once we hit Ari Phoenix, Arizona, we'll start making our climb back up to I-40, but that's the road that's closed. So um, hopefully we can get to our hotel at a decent hour tonight. That yeah. would be nice. And also along for the ride, we have Good morning, everyone. Mama Grove! <laughs> have you enjoyed traveling in the Tesla? I have very much so. It's a beautiful car. It rides smooth, and I'm looking forward to the journey home with my kids. So rather than be uh, safe than sorry, we decided to stop here in White Hills, Arizona, do a little bit of a charge, you know, 5 to 50, maybe 60 percent, just because we don't know that we can actually get into Kingman. Kingman is right at the start of 40, and I don't know if they blocked it before then. So we need a little buffer, so we're going to charge up, use a restroom. But uh, look at this beautiful sunset over the mountaintops. Sunset? It's sunrise. Oh my gosh, that's right, yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> sunrise um, over look the, the mountains. Look at sunrise. <laughs> and look, they even have a little doggy area if we had Miss Willow with us. I love it. All right, so we just finished up that charge in White Hills, Arizona. And the best thing about being able to stop at a truck stop is there are truckers there and you can ask them questions. So while we were in there, we got a hold of somebody traveling uh, east to west and they said that we can get into Kingman, but after that, we're not going to be able to go any further than that. So we charged up to about 51%. It cost us $6.56. And we're going to go to Kingman and do a, a nice deep charge. And then we'll be on our way to Phoenix, which we haven't ventured to before because Never. last time we didn't need to. So yeah, yeah, on our way to Kingman. We have arrived in Kingman, Arizona oh, again. Yeah. Woohoo! So here in the daylight are those really cool cars that um, we saw the other night. But it's just so neat that they have all these old, old trucks and cars. We just finished up charging in Kingman, Arizona. Uh, we went to the little diner right over across the street called Mr. D's and if you're here in Kingman, Arizona, please go and support this <laughs> local business. Excellent food, amazing hospitality. They were so gracious to us when we walked in. We were like, they were like, oh, please come sit down. And we're like, can we get it to go? And they're like, oh yeah, no yeah, problem. Of course. So they got it to us. They were a, like, you look like you need a hot chocolate. I said, yes, please. <laughs> so we got that to go and we're gonna be back on the road now, but we wanted to share something because if you just leave the route in the Tesla planner, it puts us going to Flagstaff. So Morgan shows the screen here. See, it has us going here. This is Flagstaff. We know that this is closed. Uh, I-40 eastbound is closed, but the car does not. So thankfully we know that, and we're actually gonna be routing a different way. there yeah east mayo boulevard yep so we have to go reroute ourselves down to phoenix um we're gonna hopefully take then from phoenix we'll go up this way and then we'll rejoin um 40 up in the petrified forest national park there which should be after the closure so that's what we're hoping to do as we know that there is then also um a supercharger sorry actually there's flagstaff so supercharger is over here it's just not lit up so oh thanks mark yeah so there's supercharger up in window rock and then there's these ones in rio santa fe yep well we went to santa rosa on our way out so mm. i don't know if we'll make it out that far but at the same time we just are gonna be heading out to phoenix arizona we have officially done our snow detour and now we are in sunny warm Phoenix Arizona and we're actually a little bit north of Scottsdale so that's pretty awesome I've always wanted to visit here sadly it's not time to stay but we are passing through here um, we're going to pick up some lunch as well there's so many places here to eat the car is doing fantastic we've had no issues um, and we got here around 25 percent so we do have about 25 30 minutes to charge up and get that lunch yeah, and they've been 
sleeping the whole time. No, so no, that's not true. Fun. Not the whole time, but they a missed bit. the coolest cactus fields ever. I never <laughs> expected to see that. So. Yeah. We just got fueled up, we got charged up. We are now going back up north and it's taking us right into Holbrook, Arizona, which is a stop that we actually skipped last time because we had so much charge because we were charging at that point to 90%, which is what we just did. This charge was do to do 1344 in Phoenix, Arizona, East Mayo Boulevard, if you want to know the specific charger. Um, and we got some Chick-fil-A, who doesn't love Chick-fil-A? Um, and yeah. How do you uh, feel about today's trip so far? Oh, I tour? love it. I have slept the whole way. The car is so comfortable and I'm supposed to be helping out with the driving, but today's not a good day for mom. Mom is very tired and the car is so comfortable. I just <laughs> fall asleep. Yeah. So there we go. Two special guests no that think the car is very comfortable and have been sleeping a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we're stopping again. This has only been like, what, an hour? An hour and a half, maybe. <laughs> and we're at 54%. Some, well, wait, hold on. Through some amazing and beautiful canyon roads. Like, absolutely gorgeous. So, I'm super happy that we kind of had to make this tour. And now we're going to try to make it to the tour once again. Because it's already dropped 10 degrees, um, which takes us down to like the 50s. But if we go another hour north, we're nervous that the battery could um experience the really cold again and well, we don't want to do that and so forget just forget the battery the road <laughs> what if conditions it's snowy be, yeah <laughs> and honestly i've been awake the whole day and i've seen the mountaintops and the mountaintops have been a little snow covered but now here in payson arizona the the mountains that are north of us are just practically almost covered in snow so it's totally different than the snow tops that we've been seeing so i just really am nervous about that and hope that this is the right decision and then the car will show us that we can make it to New Mexico, not going up through um, Holbrook and then to Santa Cruz, Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa. So we're gonna try this out, get some coffee while we're here and we'll see if we can actually make it after we get charged up to 90 again. Yeah. From 54. We um, have our coffee, we got our charge in and um, so we just mapped going from here in Payson Arizona to Soco. Yeah, I think it was Soco, New Soco, Mexico. Soco, New Mexico. Socorro. Socorro. There we go. And um, that is 306 miles. So for us to do that trip across using um, Route 60, we would need a hundred percent charge. Which, like you've been watching us, we've been charging to ninety percent, not a hundred. And not only would we need a hundred percent charge, we would arrive at zero percent. Zero. Zero. So. So rather than risk everything, risk it because we actually want to get home. <laughs> yep. We're just few more states to go. <laughs> go up to forty and pray that it's not you know bad winter yeah. conditions. Um, um, we're gonna skip Holbrook and yes. just continue on to Gallup. And since we were gonna make it all the way to Socorro. New Mexico, we charged to 95% and this charge, since we only got here at 54%, so it wasn't that much of a charge, it was $13.12. I wanna point out something. So even though we weren't able to go straight across and we have to go up to Gallup, which is eventually where we wanted to end up at some point, back on 40, headed to Amarillo, that route was through a national forest and two, two. Indian reserves. So. Chances of there even being gasoline on those areas, you know, if we had a gasoline powered vehicle, we probably wouldn't. So yeah, does the infrastructure need to be approved? Yes. Would there be charging or any type of fuel sources or even a restroom that we could use along that route? Probably, probably not. not. <laughs> so this is really the better way to go. Let's just hope that it's not wintry conditions and we can keep uh, moving along. know about the chargers there but originally we were going to skip that and head on into Gallup 
instead but we needed to use the restroom so we stopped in Holbrook and this was actually at a Burger King which was super weird because we've actually never seen one at a Burger King before and interestingly we went into the Burger King and it was very odd because the doors one of the signs was just a normal door it had like the kitty changing thing on the women's door and then the men's door was completely locked and said only for paying customers two two issues there one why are only men the ones that have to pay to use the restroom and two i thought it was part of tesla's application that when you ask to be a supercharging location that you are going to provide facility facilities to use the restroom and or you know just like have food and stuff like that so i thought it was kind of odd um anyway so we did a charge up there from like 60 percent because like i said we weren't supposed to stop there to uh 90 percent or 89 percent is actually when we left just because that's how long we were there and that cost us about ten dollars and 53 cents so not bad we're back on the road and now we are going to get out of arizona we're going to be headed to new mexico and our next stop is albuquerque all right so we are here in albuquerque new mexico and morgan is very upset because her apple watch is dying and no it's dead it's a catastrophe because someone was nice enough to plug it in for me but then someone wasn't nice enough to check to make sure that I was actually charging on that little disc so it was late and someone had to get up early it and start did driving not us home. charge i yeah. know so anyway, we're here in Albuquerque. We got uh, a really big charge. We pulled in at 10%. We're charging up to 90. And unfortunately, because of our six hour delay, we are still on the road for a few more hours. Yeah. And by a few, I mean like four. Yeah, like we're not <laughs> gonna get to our hotel until 1.30 in the morning. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's been a long be a day. It's gonna be a late day tomorrow. <laughs> it's gonna be long and, and late, but it is all Ooh. good. We're having Great success with everything else, no issues. Yeah, and luckily when we came up from Backway Highway, we used to, we always call them, Route 260, we were expecting some snow, and man, did we see some snow on the side of the road, luckily. Yeah, but with the sun and the work crews out early this morning, it was clear, smooth sailing. Um, but literally, there's snow piles out here in Arizona, no lie, 12 foot tall. They piled them up at stop signs, you could barely even see. I, I think they have like super mumbo jumbo stop signs out here because it was 12 feet high. If you stacked me on top of me, it still would have been more. <laughs> anyway, tall, yeah. it, it was a lot of snow, but luckily the roadways were clear, dry even, so it was good. And then when we hit I-40, no snow up here, so we just been cruising down I-40 and trying to get to Texas tonight. Yep, and so we uh, finished up our dinner. We were able to get some Chipotle, it was excellent. <laughs> and it was uh, Mama Girl's first ever Chipotle. And very delicious. Plenty of food to eat. Now I'm full. I do feel bad for my kids because they had to drive all day because I was very, very tired. Mm -hmm. She is wetting pooped out. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so we just finished up that charge. It was uh, $20.57 from $10.90. And on to our next stop in Tukumakuri. Oh my gosh, no. What is it? How do you even say it? Tukumak something. Yeah, because I think it's, it's Tukumakuri. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Took a Macari, New Mexico. Macari. Macari, all right. Like Bacardi, but no Bacardi here. See ya. Here at the Tuka Macari charging location for the supercharger. It's at a Best Western, and these are the pull-through stations, which is really great. I actually really love these stations. I don't... Sorry, Marky. It's actually at the Holiday Inn Express. Is it really? Suites. Yeah, that's the hotel we went into to use the restrooms. Holiday Inn in his brief. Oh, that's the best Western. Oh, yeah. I stand corrected. There's a lot of hotels here. There are. There's three. All in a little nugget here. Yeah. A McDonald's and a Circle K. <laughs> so been uh, been traveling along. We still have another hour and a half to go until we reach Amarillo, Texas. But this is the final leg for tonight. Mm -hmm. We can't be more thankful <laughs> for when we actually do reach the hotel. Charging up to ninety percent, so we'll get to the hotel at a pretty uh pretty good like yeah, battery percentage. percentage hopefully around 40 is what we're shooting for yeah and um how are we doing on the license plate game oh we're doing pretty well um we just saw ontario which is a cool fun non-us state plate um but we're still hunting away for north dakota 
We have yet to find that on either the previous set or this set, and so that's going to be the biggest challenge, I think, for the license plate game here. But we're, I would say, at least probably halfway there now. So yeah. we'll see what tomorrow brings. Leaving our last charging stop for today, and it is now 12.15 a.m., and that charge was originally $18.24. Now, if anyone can help me answer this wild and crazy question, if you wait about like a minute and a half or so, your charging cost will change from whatever it says originally on your screen to a dollar and eight less. Like usually the idle fee it says up to a dollar. I don't know what the tax is in New Mexico because I haven't bought anything here yet today. Um, but it's just very peculiar to me how it will say a certain price and then you load up the charging screen in the car icon and then it's different. So if anyone knows, please let me know. But we are heading out to Amarillo, Texas for the night. We arrived! Woo! have arrived but we totally forgot about the time change time so change. it is officially 2 40 a.m <coughs> can't Sorry. believe it uh but luckily we are able to plug in mm -hmm. to the tesla destination charger so we will get a full charge tonight mm -hmm. and be back on the road whenever the heck we wake up <laughs> good morning here in amarillo texas we arrived super late as you know so we stayed in bed Till about as late as we could to get on the road at a semi-reasonable time. Huge thank you to the Best Western Plus here in Amarillo, Texas for providing the Tesla destination charger. That has been huge. Um, we did just get a notice on the screen, you know, in regards to charging to 100%. It's not something you want to do that frequently, but when you're on a trip, as long as you're using that battery capacity, it shouldn't be too detrimental to your battery. But just keep that in mind, Tesla recommends you can charge up to 90% daily. So we typically charge 80% daily. We've been charging the 90, so we can get a little bit further on these travels, long days. But yeah, other than that, it's been great. So one of the things that I normally use at home is scheduled departure. However, some what that and what that means is I set a time that I'm gonna leave and the car will finish charging, kind of like Apple's iPhone optimized charging. It will finish charging and then it will be ready to go with the battery preheated and the car preconditioned at that time. I wasn't trusting that last night. Um, I just sometimes I, I feel a little sketchy with it, even though I probably shouldn't, but it has happened where it hasn't charged at times. So what I did was I load down the amperage that the car would accept to basically create my own scheduled departure. So I knew we were gonna be leaving the hotel at 9 a.m. So I looked at, it was 3 a.m., we needed almost six hours, so we were leaving, so I got it to stop charging around five hours and 40 minutes, charging at a lower amperage. So that's something you can always do if you don't want to use scheduled departure, but I wouldn't recommend it at home. Use scheduled departure, it does work. You know, I've just had some finicky moments with our J1772 connector. But other than that, it's great. And like I said, the main thing about charging to 100% is you don't want to leave the battery at a high rate of charge for an extended period of time. So if you're going away, you want to charge the battery to like 50-60% and let it be if you're going to leave it parked for a week or so. But if you're going to use that battery capacity, which we are now, it shouldn't be very detrimental. We have arrived in good old Shamrock, Texas. Yeah, Shamrock. We love it here. We do. It's really cool. They have a cool old Route 66 museum, it looks like, but it's Saturday and it's not open. So I'm, I'm sad. really sad about that because inside it literally takes you back to like the 50s. It's set up just as they would, like a candy shop, you know, with booths and bar seating with those little spin top. Stools. And it's and a shamrock, we also have the sweet pull-through chargers. Yes, we Absolutely love, love these. these chargers. So one of the issues that we're gonna have coming up soon is Tesla and the Magic Dock. And so what that is, is we're gonna have your Tesla connector. And then instead of being able to pull it out with the Tesla connector, it's gonna have a, an adapter on it for other electric vehicles. Well, the issue we're gonna run into is not every electric vehicle has the charging port in the same location. So if it's in the front, you're gonna have people backed in in the pull-throughs, and if it's on the other side, you're gonna have them angled. 
and it's going to be a mess and it's something that really needs to be addressed as we move forward with electric vehicle charging and but i i was thinking about the um additional vehicles too and honestly because this this whole week we've been blessed to not have to wait at any of these chargers one time. okay one time where was that that was in where we're going oh uh, oklahoma city we do love pretty old shamrock texas it's a great place to charge up um let's head on into the vehicle and so if you head on in here charging is complete okay we're gonna go down here to the car, Let's up to charging. We're at 90% and it was only six dollars and twenty cents. Yeah, but what does it say we're gonna arrive at Oklahoma City? Um we're gonna arrive there with 32%. No way, holy crap. Okay. Yeah, That's so awesome. that is great. It's super warm in the car. It is as you see up here up top, it says 46 degrees. Um, but in the car it feels like 70. It's so warm. Um, with the glass roof and everything, even though it's tinted. All right, so remember that last clip that I just said, there hasn't really been a wait, and then he said, oh, remember that one charger? Well, we are back at that one charger. And there are two cars ahead of us. And then there are all the people charging. So yay. The car um, does tell you um, right here, if you click on the charger, how much the wait time is and it was 15 minutes and now it's 25 minutes so here we are sitting in the car waiting to see um, when we'll be able to charge up so fun <laughs> I don't know what that white car thinks he's doing I don't know but they gotta get in line no, are you serious? they are taking it I guess they were waiting too where did he even come from? Over there. But I guess that guy knew because he didn't even budge a bit. I guess not. Oh, mm -hmm. I didn't know you were still filming. I am. I was uh, waiting for your input, mister. Yeah. I was going first, not told. Yeah, so this does suck. And this is one of the reasons why the infrastructure needs to be improved. Because this is literally the only charging in this entire area. So we are all stuck having to come here were and not we're only traveling. is it like in the area like this is at an, a prime location of an outlet location so like there's a million and one stores so a lot of people would come to this location and then if the network does open up even to all the other vehicle brands it's like it, this is just going to be nuts no one is ever going to be able to charge here no there's not enough charging here tesla needs to work on it like immediately and this actually is Oklahoma might email City, them. Oklahoma, by the way. Yeah, I think I'm going to actually email them and tell them, like, this is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Like, there's all these other parking spots right over here. Like, you could easily put in more parking on every single one of those. Or there's more only, superchargers, yeah. Like, that's what I mean. Tesla parking, please. Oh, and we got to figure out this waiting line situation. Like, I feel like we're blocking. See, we're blocking other ways. These people all have to go down that way now because we're sitting here blocking the flow of traffic. Just saying. We have some improvements to make. Some things to figure out here. So we thought having two people in front of us was pretty bad, but there are four people behind us even waiting. Um, and so also, since this is a 150 charger, we're all sharing. it's all being shared. And so that means we have 50 minutes to eat lunch. So we are going to go find some lunch here and then we'll of course move as soon as that clicks that we are charged and ready to go. So, wow, busy. After eating an incredibly delicious lunch at BJ's Brew House, the charging is finished up. It costs us $17.16 and I feel disgusting. But it was so delicious. I'm just tell so, them what you had. I ate a had lot. had a weird mixture yeah, of so, a salad. Well, first I had a berry hibiscus tea, which was delicious. And then I got a salad. <laughs> and then, of course, the lady was like, how about dessert? And I was like, oh, I really shouldn't. And then she brought it to me, and there was a banana split cookie, cookie brownie thing. Oh, on Paizuki's. And so, uh, yeah, we did that as well. And... And so I, I had feel, some of my boneless wings. I did try. Morgan's chili. wings were coated in a root beer sauce. Root Incredible. Beer yeah, absolutely. It was delicious. If you're in Oklahoma City and you're at this outlets, even though you're going to have to wait 300 hours to charge, yes, that's hyperbole, but go to BJ's Brewhouse. It is excellent. Anyway, so we're back on the road. 
Morgan is going over to a place called Scooters for some coffee. Hey. I might get a matcha, even though I feel gross. I mean, what the heck? I'm on vacation, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're going to do that and then get the heck out of Oklahoma and head into Arkansas. All right, so we just stopped in Van Buren, Arkansas, which we have not stopped in before. Uh, we got a really deep charge. It's trying to push us to another charging station, but it's very low percentage on arrival, and it is pretty much like 40 degrees outside. So we're gonna do a quick charge in Ozark back to 80% so we can get to that secondary charger a little bit higher. This charging cost was $19.22. And that was up to 94% because it's trying to push us to that next charger. Alrighty, so we are back on the road, um, heading to Tennessee. We're still in Arkansas and um, this charge was just a little gas up because we weren't going to make it. Fuel up. <laughs> Fuel up, charge up. A little charge, charge up. Charge up, yeah. <laughs> That's the word, charge up. Um, because we weren't really going to make it with room to spare for our big charge in Brinkley, Tennessee. I mean, yeah, Brinkley's in Tennessee. Yeah, Brinkley, no, in, I think uh, Brinkley might no. be in Arkansas, but... Arkansas, yep. We were gonna make it there with 1% and we were gonna be limited to our speed. And so instead of doing all that, what we did was we stopped in the Ozark and we charged up. And we actually got to meet this really cool group of guys that are also road tripping, got to share our, some of what we've done and they were sharing with us. So it was really cool. Great little charge, only took us about 15 minutes, which is a long time in the grand scheme of things where we were in battery percentage. But now we have plenty of range to get the Brinkley and uh, then get to our hotel. And it, it costs us $3.72, so no biggie there. And let's just say, this road tripping thing, it's getting to me. This is what, day eight? So tomorrow's day nine, then back to work. It's a long trip. And I'm ready for my own bed and my puppy dog. Just finished charging up in Brinkley, Arkansas. We arrived at 17%, so stopping in the Ozarks was a really good idea because we had a huge buffer of, uh, what would that, that 16%. Yeah. So huge buffer, we didn't have to worry at all. Uh, we arrived and we have been here before and we were like, okay, our choices are Sonic or McDonald's. So we walked across the street to McDonald's, even though it's not really what we wanted, but those were our choices and it was locked. No admittance inside, drive-through only. Mm -hmm. So, because we needed to use the restroom, that didn't work. Looking over to our left, there was a Waffle House, which none of us have ever eaten at before. And surprisingly, Not it was bad. actually pretty good. It was decent. Yeah. The cheeseburger was on par, so that was nice. That's yeah. all I wanted was a cheeseburger, <laughs> and it was good. So we charged up to, while we were sitting at dinner, we charged up to 95%. That way we have plenty of range. We do not need to stop in Memphis anymore. We're gonna go straight to our hotel. And even if the charging isn't available there, we'll just charge in the morning at a supercharger. Mm -hmm. But let's uh, cross our fingers and hope that the charging at the hotel is available. So the charge in Brinkley tonight was our last charge on the second day eastward bound. That cost was $18.29. So hopefully, as Mark said, we'll have the hotel charger tonight, get back up to 100% as we are going to head to home tomorrow. We have arrived at our hotel for the night and we made it here at 29% just like Marky predicted and um, luckily it is only 1.15 in the morning and that's a lot better than almost 3 a.m. like yesterday so we did have a big detour of course yesterday so that does take up some time so now we're just gonna go in get some Z's all caught up and we'll be back at it or bright and early again tomorrow. The destination chargers were open, so we're about to plug in and get up to 100% so we can have a long, nice morning stretch of driving. More driving to do. Well, good morning. I was a little, like, a lot sleepy yesterday, and um, so I thought we would get up to 100% last night, but I didn't realize that this destination charger isn't just, like, a miracle worker, of course, so um, the amperage was not as high as I was expecting, so... Um, we only got up to 71% last night, but it's quite all right. 
as we got in at 40% mostly? 30. 30. So got well over 40% charge. It's good enough for us to get to Memphis today. I mean, not Memphis. My goodness. Nashville. All right, guys. So we just arrived in Knoxville. And when Knoxville. it's... Knoxville. <laughs> Nashville. No, it's Knoxville. We're in Nashville. No, it's not. Yeah. No, it's not. Want to go check the car? Yeah. Okay. I thought it said Knoxville. You can't get in the car. <laughs> Do you don't have your phone? You have it. Oh. <laughs> Nashville, Tennessee. Is it really? Yeah. Oh. All right. <laughs> He's All right. so cute. <laughs> so we just arrived in Nashville, and we clearly had a tailwind because it said originally we were going to arrive here at 13% state of charge, and we arrived at... Is there something wrong? <laughs> You're very stupid. Oh, jeez. Um... It said we were gonna arrive at 13% of state of charge, but we actually arrived at 17% state of charge. So had a nice tailwind. Hopefully that thing will push us all the way home. But I wanna show something really cool here in Nashville because at this not, Target. oh well yeah, it's a Target lot, but we have a bunch of 250 Tesla chargers. And then we also have some charge point connectors here for J1772 for other vehicles. But here we go. This is the Pierce de Resistance no parking electric vehicle charging only guys these spots are not designated for parking even though they're in a parking spot this would be similar to you parking your vehicle at the gas pump and just leaving it there while other people need fuel this is for charging Th treat these spots as if they were gas pumps please these are for charging not parking yeah, they may venture. Okay, well, we are back on the road. We are charged up. We got our caffeine charge with some Starbucks from that Target. And um, that charge was $17.41. Since the night crew at, at Starbucks did not restock for the morning person, we charge up to 90. Even though today our goal is just to charge up to 80, we did have some extra time, so we just put it up to 90. And now we're actually headed to Knoxville. Now's so Knoxville. Knoxville. Silly Marky. Is coming. And Chicks I got a green kids. theme today. I got a green shirt. I got a green drink. Matcha. And I'm getting another green drink later. <laughs> He's already planning out the day of drinks. <laughs> Eastern time here in Tennessee so we did cross over that border and um, we just charged up from 22% all the way up to 90% um, because we went on a little shopping hiatus to get those steps in while looking at some fun cute things anyway we now have to go voyage for some food and sadly it's Sunday so Chick-fil-a is closed that would be the fast and easiest thing I think but we're gonna go see what's around this shopping center. Um, we met this awesome guy again. He's road tripping from California, went out to Virginia, and now we met up here in Tennessee. So that was kind of funny. He's going back, we're going this way. It's just cool how paths cross like that. So, yep, after this stop, we are off to Virginia. Well, we are back on the road again. I just drove from Knoxville, Tennessee to Atkins, Virginia. So we are only like a state away from home. I'm so excited there and see our babies um but to hopefully shorten this trip we did charge up to 95 percent so we can surpass two other chargers go further um and then also have better locations for dinner tonight moving right along and no bad weather we were possibly going to hit some rain today but luckily we just had a little sprinkle here and there nothing major no downpours windshield wipers are barely coming on you have to just tell them to go on because the mist is not being recognized by the windshield wipers so anything else no but it just changed oh so i gotta work away here and uh see how we can get that charger back in our schedule here charging to 95 percent did pay off we were able to make it to the supercharging location in Woodstock, Virginia, with actually more than it said, even though it was trying to reroute me in the beginning, about, I don't know, hour and a half in the drive, it just said, nope, keep going, which was pretty cool. We got here at 17% charging now, 
and unfortunately we can't go to a restaurant because for some reason our phone connectivity is not working so we're gonna go sit in the car watch a charge and figure out what the heck we're gonna do for dinner all right so after the cell phone debacle with not being able for the car to recognize our app we got in the car we saw that it still needed to remain charging so our only option really was the sheets and i must say even though i'm an east coast guy and wawa is king sheets has surprised me on this trip the breakfast wasn't bad i just got a flatbread which was actually delicious sandwich. Flatbread, sandwich. flatbread sandwich yeah not a flatbread pizza morgan got a pizza and she actually enjoyed it and my mom got a pizza too but so it was also that type of pizza that you eat when you're like five years old at like a birthday party it wasn't no gourmet pizza i like wawa's pizza better I didn't try the Sheets pizza, but I'm going to have to say just based on looking at it, <laughs> the Wawa pizza was probably better. Oh, yeah. But the flatbread sandwich they also was... also have different sizes. Like you can get a 10 or a 16 inch pizza at Wawa. There you can only get a personal, so there wasn't much options. This is true, but Sheets is all about their MTO, the made to order. So pretty much you can put anything on anything and order it, which is pretty nice. Anyway, so we charged up to 90%. We have one more stop it's gonna be a brief stop just to top off the battery so we can get home uh, probably just do like 10 15 minute charge and uh, that charge at that sheets cost us $17.92 and that was up to 90% and an update on the license plate game the only plates we are missing currently are Alaska Hawaii Connecticut North Dakota and that's it so we crushed it really I mean, I'll try to keep my eyes out here, but it is dark, so sometimes it's hard with the reflection on the uh, the license plate from the headlights. But on this return trip, we also got British Columbia, Manitoba, Canada. Quebec, and Ontario. They're all Canada. Yes. Yeah. And U.S. government. Oh, and a U.S. government plate. So, yeah. So, other than that, it's... So, really, we're plus one, whereas last time we were minus one. So, I think that's pretty awesome. Yeah, plus one. All right, so one more stop and then home. <clears throat> all right, so last stop before we head home and see all of our fur babies. So we stopped in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Welcome back, PA. Um, and this stop was $13.65, which took us up to 85%, which will be plenty for us to charge overnight and take this lady back to the train station so and this one is also at another sheets so shout Ugh. out to sheets for you know allowing tesla to come in and put their supercharging locations there and i know wawa is working on on the east coast as well so. working on it yeah <laughs> not fast enough people <laughs> no it's not fast enough but we'll get there but man what a crazy trip amazing this one is super pumped so i was gonna drive this last leg but she's like i want to go I, I want to like, go home. All right. Be my guest. I'll chill out. <laughs> I've done a lot of driving this trip. Lot. so Yeah. So. I'm ready to just relax. Can't yeah. wait to get home. Definitely. So it is the next morning, and we are dropping Mama Grove off at the train station so she can head back to uh, wonderful Rhode Island. And uh, what did you think about traveling in an electric vehicle? It was very nice. It was very comfortable. Nice space. Good ride. Did not like the phantom stopping at all. Um, that's something they need to fix but the car is very comfortable it rides very smoothly it's nice that you can stop and go to the bathroom and get something to eat and then the car is ready to go and it was wonderful traveling with my kids and having a great time yep and now we are back in pa and morgan is in the back with willow Hello. Hi, yeah and um last night as we were traveling home we did see um another license plate Woohoo! we got connecticut on our drive back um, but then I also forgot to mention that something really cool with the license plates happened in Oklahoma. Um, they actually do tribal plates for all the reservations and the different people out there. So I thought that was really neat and something I never even knew about. So I can't even pronounce them, so I'm not even going to take a shot at it. So, but just another cool thing of our country. Yeah, and even though it was a very long trip and I probably would never do it again in three days, it was a lot of fun. And the best part is, you know, I love the car so much that I don't care that I'm back in it first thing this morning driving again. So, yeah, it was a, a really fun trip and uh, back to Pennsylvania where the roads absolutely suck. Whoa. <laughs> like and subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs>